All right, welcome to this video. We're gonna be doing Lead Code Problem 257, Binary Tree Paths. So I'll give you a binary tree, and they, they want to return an array of strings representing all the paths from the root, which is at the top of the tree, right? The one node, in this example, till a leaf. And a leaf is a node with no children, right? So in this example, a leaf would be this three node and this five node. They have no left or right children. So we're gonna solve this with recursion. And if recursion is not your strong suit, don't worry, it's not mine either. And we'll solve this with helper method recursion, which I find a bit easier to understand. Now, if you like this kind of content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified of all of our, of our new content. With that being said, let's get started. So what I want to do is first handle an edge case where they pass us a invalid node or they pass us, pass us an empty binary tree. So I'll save no root, return an empty array, right? There's no paths. Otherwise, I'll say const result is equal to an empty array, and we're gonna fill this out with strings. So I'll create my helper method recursion function. I'll call it, let's say, find path. It takes in a node and a current path, and current path, this will always be of type string, all right? And node, well, it will always be a given node in the input binary tree. All right, so I'll say current path plus equals node dot val, right? Because we want to append our current node onto our path. Then I'll say if our node does not have a left child and a right child, so if no node dot left and no node dot right, result dot push current path, right? Because if the current node we are on does not have a left and right child, we are on a leaf, and the current path has been updated consistently, and so we're gonna push the current path we are on to our result array. Otherwise, that means there's either, there's either a left child or a right child or both. So let's keep traversing. So I'll say if node.left, then I'll say find path and takes in two arguments, right? Node current path. So I'll pass in node.left, right? There's a left child, pass that left child node to find path. And for current path, right? I'll pass in the current path plus this uh, right directional arrow because lead code wants each of these strings, right, in between the node values, we have this directional arrow right here. So then, I can just copy this actually, just change a couple things. So let's say if node.write, right, if node.write, traverse again, passing in the node's right child, and you still pass in the current path plus this directional arrow. All right, so we finished to find this find path helper, helper, recursive function. Now let's actually call it. So I'll call it on, so I'll do find path and call it on the input node they give us, which is the root of the binary tree. So I'll say root. And then our current path is, well, an empty string on the first call of it, right? Once find path is called, it's going to update our result array accordingly. And I can say return result. So I'll save. I'll bring this over to lead code and make sure it passes their tests. And it does, great. So, what is the binary tree pass complexity analysis? Time complexity is O of n because we traverse through every node in the tree and space complexity is O of n because we use uh, recursion and so our call stack could be of length tree. All right, that should be it for this video.